calculation. And we do that by, so I prepared for you an easy command also to do that. So we run, we type run QE. The next file is the input file, right? That is the one we prepared. And we type it, new input, and then I press enter. And hopefully it works. Ah, error message. So when you look at the error message, it will tell you something is wrong and there's a bad line and that is where the pseudo-potential is. So let's go th slowly over that. So when I ls that line, so let's check if I have somewhere a, a spelling mistake. Somewhere else is a spelling mistake, so I change back, I change to quantum expresso, that is okay, I change SG15, but there it is. So this is pretty normal, right? So somewhere is a mistake and then you have to find it. Right, and I think I found it. So now something has changed, right? Meaning there was an error and the error was that I didn't put in the last character here, right? In indicating that that is not a file but the directory, right? I need to close that and let's backtrack the last error What's the same error? No, no, let's see something else Right. Okay, if you look closely, there are two equal signs here. There shouldn't be two equal signs. Let's change that. Right, unbelievable. Just 
one equal sign. Occupations is written slightly wrong, right? Occupations, there's an A missing. Now it says atomic positions, something is wrong here. Uh, this one doesn't doesn't need this one. It's without. You mean this one here, right? We need cell that that one looks slightly different. But let's this one. No, that that shouldn't that should be okay. The error is most likely somewhere else. Let's see a Tom. Okay, it's atomic positions. Now it's working, I promise you. Ah, damn it. Okay. And now it complains that the order is slightly wrong. So I use gedit. I open the file. So basically, it's telling me. Right, I repeat the changes here of patients. Blah blah blah. Patients. So now it tells me that this line, these lines, must come before the positions. Okay, but now it should work. So this live demonstration should show you uh, errors are common when you do the inputs. That's why uh, we try to have a graphic editor, right, to help us. And then if you get stuck somewhere, right, try to find the error message, start with the first one, and then see what's written, right? Atomic species must be present before. That means, okay, atomic species, put it on top of somewhere, right? It's not very, very helpful but it's sufficiently to track down the errors. Now it tells me it can't find the pseudo-potential. So I check if it is there. Plus here. I don't like the plus, might be a typo again. And if there's a typo, you see it should be an underscore. Good. Okay, now it was running and it's done already. And it will tell you, right? Job is done if it is done. And now we either can scroll up, it's a lot of information and it's a bit difficult to read, or we have this command, right, the input, and then we put the right arrow to direct the output into a file. And I call that out.log. And then the calculations, calculation will be written into out.log. We can open that and look at that together.